Hello, hello, everybody. We are going to begin our dear experience in an interesting way with Pokemon Explorers of Sky, the Expanded Sky mod. <laughs> Only Simi not fully blind, no. <laughs> yeah, it's because I played this years and years ago. Years and years ago. I remember a few key points to the story, but it has been a long time that the fine minutia has been lost on me. Uh, excited about the Apollo Justice Trilogy? I am. Probably won't get it immediately because of evils of life, but eventually. But, as for this, this is, of course, the Expanded Sky ROM hack of Explorers of Sky. It basically has a few built-in quality of life features, as well as a few additions, like the fairy type, and a few additional partners and uh, starters to choose from that I figured would spice things up a little bit, just because I ran across it uh, like a few months ago, and I was just like, hey, that's pretty good. And funnily enough, I originally was uh, going to just do Eevee and then Rialu as hero partner this time, until I saw a different part, uh, like a hero that starter that I figured, actually, that, that seems pretty good as well. Now, one of the nice things is that we can do the, like, uh, the questionnaire, the personality quiz, which I do, I do adore. I adore the personality quiz even if I cheese it all the time, because I like that it's an optional kind of thing that way, where you can choose to experience it that way of like, game, tell me who you think I am, but or you could choose to get the one that you prefer to get. It's a nice thing, it's a nice choice, it's just a cool thing. But, uh, we'll quickly check other, because why not? None of those are interesting. So, I guess, yeah, I played this, the original Explorers of Sky, ages and ages ago as a child, but I only have fragmented memories of it, and so, Let's jump in and see if this game can emotionally destroy me like Explorer of uh, Blue Rescue Team did. New game. Oh yeah, and the this ROM hack also adds like Eevee turning into Sylveon because it also adds the fairy type to this game. And that's one of the reasons like, oh, I'm going to do this so I can be Eevee then become Sylveon. But then I saw another another starter that that, like, today, I saw a different starter within the game today and fa um, just stole away my want, and so we're going to do that. I won't be getting on release either. Have to wait till my, uh, get my February paycheck. That and Persona 3 Reloaded. There's so many games, so many games. I played this game three or four times emulated, so I know it completely. Neat. Welcome. This is the portal that leads to the world inhabited only by Pokemon. Beyond this gateway, many new adventures and fresh experiences await your arrival. Before you depart for adventure, you must answer some questions. Be truthful when you answer them. Now, are you ready? Then, let the questions begin. Did you play Explorers of Time or Explorers of Darkness? If I remember correctly, I read uh, amongst my TV tropes wanderings, that pressing yes to this increases the recruitment rate of certain Pokemon uh, to, like, ease people who played the original Explorers of Time and Darkness into this one. I'm going to say no because, like, I'm already emulating this and playing a ROM hack. I might as well let the game be a little bit honest with itself. Have you ever thought that if you dug in your backyard, you could find buried treasure? And I forget if I said it or not because a uh, uh, brain is dead, but... This ROM hack also comes with the feature of being able to choose our starter after doing the personality quiz, if it functioned correctly. So, I'll do it honestly, so we'll see who we would have gotten, and then I'll choose the one that I want. Uh, have you ever done that looking for buried treasure? I have not. How are your mornings? Hmm, they're okay. Usually not a rush, but hardly ever perfect. Your friend offers to treat you to dinner. What do you do? I'm there! Have you ever forgotten you bought something and bought another one? Yeah. Happened with a book once. Where I had, like, uh, I've been getting the uh, Dresden Files books. 
and accidentally got one that I already had because I'm a moron that's like, I'm gonna buy things in advance instead of buying them as I want them because I'm an idiot. Uh, you've been handed a large bag as a souvenir. What do you do? Hmm. Wait until I get home to open it. Shake it? No, I wouldn't shake it, I don't think. Open it. Mm. Like, I might glance... Like, if there was a glance inside, maybe. But it's smaller than everyone else's. Yeah, that would eat at me. I, I can be a petty bitch sometimes, so it's smaller than everyone else's. Have you ever realized you were hogging the conversation? Fuck, man. <laughs> Why you gotta do this to me? <laughs> you notice that a toy you bought for full price yesterday is marked down at half price. How do you feel? Arg, indeed. Uh, my brother would often misplace his Pokemon games, get another one, and then find the one he lost. Ouch. But yeah, Arg in... Well, let's see. Heartbroken, Arg, or bad timing. Heartbroken, probably. Like, because I'm applying this to, like, Steam sales. I buy a game, I play a lot of it, and then it goes on Steam sale. Oh, Pain. Your friend suddenly won't listen to you when everything was fine just yesterday. What happened? Uh, what, why, I've, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a pain bitch, so, yeah, what, why. My ADHD says yes to hogging conversations. Oh, yeah. Uh, now I, now I have a new anxiety whenever, I, that stops me from joining voice calls. Because I'm afraid that I will just hog everything. What, why? Are you male or female? We shall choose female because that's what we would have chosen to get Eevee. If we were doing this, well, if we were doing this honestly, we would never do this honestly. We'd be gaming this. We'll say female to see who we would have gotten. And now your aura will be analyzed. Your aura is the energy that you radiate. Relax, calm yourself, and press your fingertip to the bow. That's right. Stay perfectly still. Take a deep breath. And now exhale. Your aura has been identified. Lift your finger from the touch screen. Your aura is... A stately silver. Thank you for answering all those questions. You seem to be the hasty type. You talk quickly, you eat quickly, you walk quickly. People often see you as a hard worker because you're always moving around so fast, and I wish. But be careful, if you always rush so fast, you may make mistakes more often than others do. And what a waste that would be. Relax every now and then with a nice deep breath. So a hasty type like you will be Score Bunny. Is Score Bunny who you want? No. See, this is part of uh, one of the things, like, it had so many different starters that they had to, <laughs> this mod, like ROM hack, had to be split in half into midday and midnight versions, which amuses me greatly. But yeah, we will click no, because there are ones we do want. We are going to be Zorua. This is the starter that stole away my want to be Eevee. Because originally I was planning on being Eevee, because, you know, I, I like Eevee. I was Eevee the first time I played Blue Rescue Team and on stream with Blue Rescue Team, and the first time I played Explorers of Sky. But let's do something a bit interesting here. Uh, no people often see me as in distress because I move around so fast. It's like, what's wrong? But yeah, if you want to play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky, but with a bunch of starters from different games, old and new, you got Sobble. Like, go and find the expanded... Uh, expanded... I forget it's exactly what it's called. Let me quickly do it because this deserves, like, actual crediting. Expanded Sky. It is the Expanded Sky ROM hack. Go find it. It is. It also has a bunch of uh, quality of life corrections built into the like uh, ROM hacking tool that for Explorers of Sky. I think it's called Sky Temple. It's a really cool thing. Shout out to them. I am going to put a link to this mod in subsequent streams and the uploads of these streams as VODs because this is really good. They deserve credit. But we are going to be Zoroa. Is Zoroa who you want? I do. And finally... Who will be your partner? Choose the Pokemon you want for a partner. We are going to choose... Where are you? Riyalu. Like, again, this mod was split into midday and midnight versions because it was like uh, everything... 
<laughs> like it only you could only have so many starters and partners in one like uh, version of the game, so they split into tool to put so many of them here. But yep, we are going to pick Rialu as our partner. Is Rialu who you want indeed? And Rialu will be called I agonized over their name for a bit. But I have decided they're going to be called Silas. Welcome in, Silas. Okay, and that's it. You're all ready to go. You're off to the world of Pokemon. Be strong, stay smart, and be victorious. Chapter 1, A Storm at Sea. Whoa! Whoa! Are, are you okay? No! Don't let go! Just a little longer! Come on! Hang on! N no! I can't! Hold on! Okay, this is cool. It's been so long. I This is so cool. The animation of the waves. It looks so nice. And there it is. I think it's like Sharkpedo Bluff. Oh, this is nice. I like this. I'm already feeling better. I'm already getting feeling nice. Uh, look at this art. It's so cool. Where... Where am I? I can't... Drifting off. Yeah, and like, all the sprites and portraits for the custom, like, uh, mons that have been imported into this ROM hack mod uh, are credited within the mod itself. And I think we're also credited at the start screen of, of the top part. So it's like, credit to all these people. And again, I will, I, in subsequent streams and stuff, I will remember to link the mod, because this is just super cool. Hmm. No. I refuse to be paralyzed by this any longer. This is it. I have to steal my courage today. Pokemon detected! Pokemon detected! Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint is Rialu's! The footprint is Rialu's! Wow! What, you don't expect people to be below? That was too shocking. Yeah. I can't. I can't work up the courage to go in all after all. I told myself that this is the day, but... That's a nice illustration of the rock. I forgot that it looked so good. I thought that holding on to my personal treasure would inspire me. Uh, I just can't do it. I'm such a coward. This is so discouraging. He's Naruto running. Well, Naruto walking, really. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. This game's Team Meanies. Hey, Zubat! Did you get a load of that? You bet I did, coughing. That little wimp was pacing around. Had something good, right? That wimp had something, that's for sure. It looked like some kind of treasure. Do we go after it? We do. And they were just hanging out besides the Wigglytuff Guild? Why? Alright, that's cute. I don't know why they're blowing bubbles, but that's cute. Already, already I'm loving the music again. Also, again, the, the opening music for the whole, like, opening sequence. Wonderful. Love it. Love the opening music to the Mystery Dungeon series. It's just so good. Love it. Oh, wow. What a pretty sight. It is pretty indeed. It's just so good. The art in this game is so good. I'm so jealous. I want to draw this, but I'm a fool. When the weather's good, the crabby come out at sundown to blow bubbles. All those bubbles catching the setting sun's rays off the waves. It's always beautiful.
I like that they're setting up the opening like this. It's I like Blue Rescue Team, but this feels so much more like a story. I like it. This is where I always come to when I'm feeling sorry for myself. But it makes me feel good to be here, <laughs> like always. Coming here is uplifting. It cheers me up. Hey, what's that? What's going on over there? Ah! Someone has collapsed on the sand! What happened? Are you okay? Uh... You're awake! That's a relief. Where... where am I? You weren't moving at all. I was seriously worried. Do you remember how you ended up unconscious out here? I... I was unconscious? What happened? Well, I'm Silas. Glad to meet you. Who are you? I've never seen you around before. What? You say you're a human? You look, you look like a totally normal Zorua to me. It, it's true! I've been turned into a Zorua! But how did this happen? I don't remember anything. You're a little odd. Are you pulling some kind of trick on me? <laughs> Shake my head quickly. You're telling me the truth? All right, then. Your name? What's your name? My name? That's right. My name is... And then we get to put our name. Of course, we're going to go with Neon. It's an oldie but a goodie. <laughs> also, I'm just going to take this, mo this pause to say, the first time that I played Explorers of Sky years and years ago... Yeah, fuck, it's probably... F fuck, it's probably been like ten years since I last played this. But last time I played this, I just recreated my Blue Rescue Team, Evie and Shane. Evie hero, Shane partner. But yeah, so this is gonna be a big ol' shake-up. Is the name Neon okay? It is indeed. Oh, Neon is your name? Okay. Well, you don't seem to be a bad Pokémon, at least. Sorry that I doubted you. More and more bad Pokemon have been turning up lately, you see. Many Pokemon have gotten aggressive lately. Things have grown somewhat lawless. Speaking of lawless... Ouch! Well, I do beg your pardon. Hey! Why'd you do that? <laughs> Can't you figure it out? We wanted to mess with you! Can't face up to us, can you? What? That's yours, isn't it? No, that's... Sorry, kiddo. We'll take that. Ah! Whoa, ho, ho. Not gonna make a move to get it back? What's the matter? Too scared? I didn't expect that you'd be such a big coward. Come on, let's get out of here. See you around, chicken. <laughs> Oh, what should I do? That's my personal treasure. It means everything to me. If I lose that... No! There's no time to waste! I've got to get back! Hey, can you help... Hey, can I get you to help me? Sure. Really? You really help? Thank you! Let's go quickly! Let's -a go! Welcome to the Beach Cave! Head for the stairway. As you go, you can attack enemies by pressing A. Enemies won't move and or act until you do. And, of course, have no items. Well, of course, we're going to uh, check our ooh, rest. I don't know that. But, uh, let's go. Others. Options. Uh, touch screen. Use anywhere. Sure. Top screen should be... Let's see. Map and team. I always like that one. Grids on, speed fast, far off pals. I'll keep that for now. Uh, attack no, check direction. Uh huh. I think I, yeah, need to. Okay. Already I like the music. It's been so long since I played this. And fast. Let's see. Window. Let's check the different frame types. Only five frame types. Hmm. I kind of like this. That one looks kind of nice. Ah! Okay. 
<laughs> Map jump scare. Uh, but okie dokie. Uh, let's look at our team just because we can. We, <laughs> I'm the team leader. And he's let's go together. Let's look at his summary. Level 5, points, aim, da da da. Uh, yep, no, oh, and we can go over, no statuses. Fighting steadfast. Boost the Pokemon's movement speed when it's cross-eyed or cringing. <laughs> if I act cringe in front of my partner, he'll go faster. He'll run away from me. Inner focus protects the Pokemon from... Never mind, he, he can only become <laughs> cross-eyed to get a speed boost. That amuses me. And he joined us at the Beast. Category, Emanation Pokemon. Let's look at your moves. Endure, Quick Attack, Foresight, and Bite. Interesting. Recess any boosted evasiveness of the targeted enemy. That could be interesting. But neat. But let's take your... Uh, ba -ba tactics. Mm. I'll just keep... Let's go together. Let's talk. Don't let your guard down, Neon. Thank you, indeed. Oh, and I, let's check also his IQ, because we can. Item Caster Course Checker. Let's see. If this Pokemon targets an enemy with a move or a thrown item, it will first check for walls. That's always nice to have. Exclusive move user. Like, uh, when it comes to the IQ, I am but a fool and unaware of anything. Uh, the Pokemon uses only moves, not its regular attack. It won't use moves that are out of power points or moves with a link that will delink if one. Hmm, interesting. Uh, I think it's safe to keep that on for now. It's been a long time since I've played this. Again. Oh, I need to get rid of the bottom map. Let's see. Bah, bah, bah. Let's see. Da -da, window. Wrong one. Options. Bottom screen. No map. Because top map. Top map is bay. Hello, Corsula. Oh yeah, I forgot. I need to look at my moves. I have... Ah. Interesting. Because I think this uh, this mod also adds like... Uh, ba -ba -ba. Like shortcuts. But I don't know how to activate them. So Leer Pursuit gives the user the counter status. It returns damage from physical attack moves back to the enemy. Leer and Scratch, always nice. Let's see, so. And of course Scratch. Leer, I believe, lowers, yep, defense. And let's see. Ah, that's how I do it. Okay. Just gotta mess up all the moves. There is indeed... Ah! Well, there's the staircase. We'll wander all the way through these dungeons for maximum efficiency. It doesn't even say its name. It just shows a picture. Pokey is this world's money. Save it up to buy useful items for your adventures. Quick attack! Good job, Silas. How dare you? I'm but a fool. I don't even know what hit me. Quit mud slapping. It's mean. And onwards we go. Car you can carry one item. The items you find on the floor have a variety of useful effects. If you find an item, open the menu with X, then use the items option to see what it does. Murder this, Shellos! That, that is a waste of a move. And I, I, I copied its ability, whatever that is. Let's see. I should probably look at your moves and turn off, like, Foresight, because that's not going to be useful. Other things you can use, Silas. <laughs> oh, you can use all those other abilities and moves and stuff. Orenberry. Picked up an Orenberry. An Orenberry restores HP. If you want to use the Orenberry, open the menu with X. Select it in the item's inventory, then select Eat. But we are not damaged. And besides, we probably need to save that in case we uh, fight the this game's team meanies. You know, I should just, like, attack normally, because you're going to do that because you're an exclusive move user. Beach Cave. 
In some areas, you will see a ground tile with a green arrow. It's called a wonder tile. Step on it to heal any stat changes. Hmm, blast seed. I guess you... Oh, you just passed over it. And I'm not... I think Orenberry is better than... I think you're... He's a little, he's a little angry at the monsters. He's like, I'm such a coward. Is ready to fucking throw down at the drop of a hat when it comes to wild Pokemon. And now I have to look out for that shelter. Because it has the fucking blast seed. I'm going to let you come to me. And uh, let's scratch. Ah, shit. It's not very effective. Oh, no. And, yeah, that should be everything. Let's move on over back to the stairs. Oh, no. <laughs> this is the Shelter of Doom. Level up. HP went up. Attack went up. Defense went up. Special attack. Special defense. And Silas grew. Can learn a new move, but must forget an old one. To relearn an old move, go to Electivire. Okay, that's cool. He wants to learn counter. Let's look at that info. Gives the user the counter status. And returns damage from physical attack moves. Hmm, that might be nice to have. Huh. What's endure? Gives the user an enduring status. A Pokemon of enduring status will survive any attack or move that would normally make it faint. It will hang on with only one HP. That could also be good. Huh. Recess any boosted evasiveness of the po targeted po enemy. It also afflicts a targeted ghost Pokemon with exposed status condition. Hmm. This is all very good. This is all very good. Quick Attack is nice because it allows him to attack from a, a semi distance. Bite is nice because it's just more attack. So if I wanted to get rid of something, it would have to be Foresight or Endure. Endure is nice for survivability. Huh. I don't know what I would want to replace. If anything, I'd probably Foresight. Probably Foresight. Yeah. Because getting rid of the, like, evasiveness could be good, but counter would be nice for hefty battles. So, let's go Foresight. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Foresight. And if we want, we can always relearn it at a later date if evasiveness becomes an issue. Good! I leveled up! And I didn't say anything, it seems. Weird. Because I know that we uh, talk when leveling up in the uh, Blue Rescue Team. Who knows? Have any questions about anything? You can check out Quick Hints by opening the menu of X, then selecting Others to find hint options. <laughs> Again. Silas is is like, oh no, I am but a coward, but goes on fucking murder time the moment that anything happens. You do one damage, now you must die. Because I like to explore all of a level when it's like early on and easy. Just another sleep seed. How dare you tackle me and you fail. Yep. <laughs> it's not gonna do much here. If I wanted to, I could micromanage his moves so that he doesn't misuse them until we're like in a boss fight, but... We're early on. I doubt Zubat and Coughing are gonna be that hard. I doubt it. I'm sure we'll be fine. He'll be out of quick attack by the time we get there, but oh well. Beach Cave Pit. Why did these guys come in here? Uh, hey! Well, well. If it isn't our old friend, the big chicken. How do Pokemon know about chicken? 
I wonder what the original Japanese said here. That would be interesting to know. I wish they said, like, if it is our fault. But then again, I wonder what kind of bird Pokemon they could have replaced with. Like, maybe say if it is an old friend, the big Magikarp, because Magikarp only use Splash or something. I don't know. Just, it's weird to have, like, a human thing be referred to. Uh, give me, give me back what you stole from me. That's my personal treasure. It means everything to me. Treasure, you say? So that thing really is valuable, huh? It could be worth more than we'd hoped for, I say. We ought to try selling it. Who knows? It might get a good price. <laughs> All the more reason not to give it back. What? If you want it back that badly, come and get it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Combat activation. All right, then I shall. First things first, Leer. Jerk. Man, I just knocked you out of the park already. I like this battle music. Yeah, those guys, those guys were scrubs. Oh, 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 oh. Ugh. We got roughed up. Now give back the rock. Blast it. How can we get wiped out by wimps like them? Ah, here you go. Take it then. Whoa, don't think you're so awesome. Your victory was a fluke. Yeah, you just remember that. Oh, it's my relic fragment. Am I ever glad. I actually did manage to get it back. It's only because you agreed to help me, Neon. Thank you, Neon. No problem. You seem like a cool dude. Thank you, seriously. I only helped because I happened to be there. Was that the right thing to do? I guess so. This Pokemon is clearly grateful. It's nice to be appreciated. Here's what they stole. This is a relic fragment. Well, at least that's what I started calling it. But this relic fragment, it's my precious treasure. You see, I've always liked legends and lore. I always get so excited when I hear tales from the past. Don't you feel the same way? Hidden troves full of treasure and strange relics. Uncharted territories veiled in darkness, and new lands just waiting to be discovered. Such places must be full of unimaginable gold and treasure and history. Wouldn't it be amazing to make historic discoveries? That's what I always dream of. It's all exciting to me. So one day, I happened to come across my relic fragment. I admit that it looks like junk, but take a closer look. See? That inscription forms a strange pattern, doesn't it? It's true. There is a strange inscription. I've never seen a pattern like this. How would we know? We lost our memory. There must be some significance to this pattern. This relic fragment must be the key to legendary places, to areas where precious treasures lie. At least that's, what I, that's the feeling I get. That's why I want to join an exploration team. This fragment must fit into something, somewhere. I want to discover where that is. I want to solve the mystery of my relic fragment. So earlier, I tried joining an exploration team as an apprentice. But I chickened out. What about you, Neon? What are you going to do now? You lost your memory, and you somehow transformed into a Pokemon. Do you have anywhere to go and stay after this? If not... Can I ask a big favor? Would you be willing to form an exploration team with me? I'm convinced that I can form an effective exploration team with you, Neon. So, will you? Please? Ah, what should I do? I'm getting recruited out of the blue! I don't know what an exploration team is. What should I do? Should I join this Pokemon and form an exploration team? I wonder what the RU is. But I'm going to say form a team. He seems like a cool dude. It's true. I do have nowhere to go. I don't have any clue what I should do next. 
I guess it wouldn't hurt to team up with Silas for now. Maybe I'll eventually discover who or what I am by hanging out with this Pokemon. Okay, that's settled. Yes? Really? You'll form an exploration team with me? Yes! Thank you! We're gonna be a great combination! Let's make this work! First, we should go to Wigglytuff's place and sign up as apprentices. That's where we need to train to become a first-rate exploration team. I'm sure the training will be very tough, but let's give it our best shot, Neon! Ha-ha! <laughs> and so, Silas and Neon formed an exploration team. This turned out to be their very first step into many fantastic realms of adventure that awaited their arrival. I think they spoiled where the relic fragment goes. <laughs> There's obviously a hole there! We have to, we have to go to the Aztec Pyramid, Silas. Would you like to save your adventure? Yes, I would. Chapter 2. The New Guild Recruits That kind of looks ominous in this lighting. Why do every Pokemon, like, build a building out of their face? I always picture Dialga as the narrator. That would be kind of cool. This is Wigglytuff's guild. To form an exploration team, you need to register your team here. Then you have to train until you become a first-rate exploration team. Yikes. Isn't there something just a little odd about this place? No! I've got Neon with me this time. I have to be brave! Pokemon detected! Pokemon detected! Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint is Rialu's! The footprint is Rialu's! Uh, no! I have to be strong! You may enter! Someone's with you! So get the stranger to stand up there! They probably meant you, Neon. They said to stand up here. At the hole. There's a grate covering the hole. It's made so that no one can t can fall through. Still, it's really strange. It looks like it will tickle my feet or... Hey, you, stranger! Get on the grate! Okie dokie. Pokemon detected! Pokemon detected! Your face goes why I clicked on this immediately. <laughs> I always like doing voices for the games that I play. They're always just a highlight. Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint is... The footprint is... Um... What's the matter? Sentry! Sentry! What's the ma- Wrong, Sentry Diglett! Um, uh... Um... The footprint is... Maybe Zoroas! Maybe Zoroas! What? Maybe? B but it's not a footprint that you normally see around here. Uh, that's pretty crummy. <laughs> Checking the footprints of visiting Pokemon? That's your job, isn't it, Diglett? Yes, but I don't know what I don't know. Poor guy. What? Are they arguing? Sorry to make you wait! Well, it's true that you don't see any Zoroa in these parts, but you don't seem to be bad. Okay, good enough! Enter! Yikes! I'm so nervous. So jittery. But I'm glad we're finally allowed in. And Twitch chat says, you know your life is over when your bones crack when you're bending over at the age of 25. I was in that a mood. Oh, to be young or a Pokemon. I'd buy being a Pokemon. I think that'd be neat. <laughs> that's why I've, that's why I've made Pokemon Mystery Dungeon a part of my personality. But I'm glad we're finally allowed in. My heart's pounding, though. Okay, let's go in. Th there's a hatch that leads underground here. 
How are quadrupeds supposed to climb that? Wow! So this is Wigglytuff's guild! So many Pokémon! I wonder if they're all on exploration teams. Excuse me! Who's that? Oh, it's Chatop. What kind of voice am I gonna give you? It has to be kind of annoying. It was you two that just... No. It was you two! I don't know what kind of voice to give you. Let's see. It was you two that just came in, right? Yes. I'm Chatop. I'm the Pokemon in the know around these parts. I am Guildmaster Wigglytuff's right-hand Pokemon. Now shoot, leave the premises. We have no time for salespeople or city surveys. Off you go, if you please. No, that's not why we're here. We want to form an exploration team. That's why we came. We want to be trained as an exploration team. What? An exploration team? It's rare to see a kid like this want to apprentice at the guild, especially given how hard our training is. Surely the steady stream of Pokemon that run away from our rigorous training proves how true that is. Excuse me, is the exploration team training that severe? What? Well, no, 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 no! It's not true in the slightest. Our training program for exploration teams is as easy as can be. Well, well, well. I wish you had told me up front that you wanted to be an exploration team. <laughs> His attitude suddenly changed, didn't it? Okay, let's get your team signed up right away. Follow me. Oh, anything wrong? Come on, over here. <laughs> Quickly, please. This is the guild's second underground floor. This is mainly where the apprentices work. Team registration is this way. Come along, please. Oh, we're two floors under the ground, but you can st still see outside. Oh, please, hush now. The guild is built into the side of a cliff. It's only natural that you'd be able to see outside. Oh. <laughs> now, here we are at Guildmaster Wigglytuff's chamber. On no account, I repeat, on no account should you be discourteous to our Guildmaster. Guildmaster, it's Chuttlet. I'm coming in. Guildmaster, I present to you two Pokemon who wish to join our guild as apprentices. Guildmaster, um, Guildmaster? Hiya! I need to find a good voice for you as well. I'm Wigglytuff! I'm the guild's Guildmaster! You want to form an exploration team? Then let's go for it! First, we must register your exploration team's name. So, tell me your team's name. Oh, our team's name? We didn't think of that. So, what do you think we should be? What should, would be a good name for us, Neon? We're not gonna be Pokey Pals. That's for the manga. Yeah, but what name should I give my team? <laughs> okay, SpongeBob. It is. I wasn't exactly going for SpongeBob. Oops. If I wanted to go for SpongeBob, I would go more like this. <laughs> But as I ponder, when you ponder your exploration team name, remember, stay hydrated. Hmm, I could just recycle my blue rescue team name, Team Shining. But I kind of want to be something interesting. Hmm. Think, 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 think. What kind of name would it be? What kind of vibe do I want to go for? Pondering, pondering, pondering. Now, Team Shiny is like, that's the one that just flits to my brain. It's just like, constantly, come on. <laughs> Go Team Shiny again. I want to be good. I want it to be interesting. I want it to be unique. So I have to think. You know what? I have just the thing. It has... I'm actually writing a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon fanfic. I need to jump back on that. Well, technically I'm writing two right now because one jumped out at me and it's far shorter than the other one. But my main one... I think I'll borrow that name. We shall be Team Lost. Where's the other thing? Team Lost Light. And I think that's the exact amount that I can put in there. It is destined! Team Lost Light? Yes. 
Lost Light? Team Lost Light! Yeah, that's a good name. It suits us. All settled then! I'll register your team as Lost Light! Registering, registering, all registered. You um ta! Congratulations! From now on, you're an official exploration team! I present you with this in commemoration. Wigglytuff set down a Pokemon Exploration Team Kit. A Pokemon Exploration Team Kit? Yep! It's what every exploration team needs! Quick! Open it up! Silas opened the Pokemon Exploration Team Kit. It looks... <laughs> ah, fan fiction. Uh, in this day and age, sometime I think fan... some or at least a decent chunk of fan fiction is even better than a lot of published work. But who knows? You know, like, sometimes... I mean, just... I was gonna say, just look at Fifty Shades of Grey. But then I rem I'm, rem I'm reminded, technically, that began as fanfiction, so that doesn't really count. Eh. I guess we can just say that all the worst floats to the top. There was an explore. Uh, uh, why did I want an exploration? No. There was an explore badge inside. And a wonder map. And a treasure bag. Yeah, there are all sorts of great items in here. That's your explorer badge. It's your official team identification. I don't know why, but that, that portrait of Wigglytuff is kind of, uh, stirring into my soul. And there's the Wonder Map, which is a wonder of convenience! Finally, there's a treasure bag. It lets you carry items you find in dungeons. Your success as an exploration team can lead to bigger and bigger space for your treasure bag. It's a very wonderful bag! Have a peek inside your treasure bag! Silas peered into the treasure bag. The defense scarf was inside, and a silver bow was inside. Those two items are special. I'm sure they will help you on your adventures. Thank you. We'll do our best. Yep, but you're only apprenticing right now, so do your best to train. We will. Let's always do our best, Neon. Yeah! Honestly, most Hollywood movies are fan fiction. That's true. Bad fan fiction, don't even get me started on Rings of Power. I have not watched Rings of Power. I just, like, looked at Amazon made Lord of the Rings series. I'm like, hey, hey, I don't trust you. Don't trust you at all. Because, like, fan fiction is basically just, like... Like, it began as, oh, we're just an unofficial person working, like, making a story in a pre-existing world. But then as franchises started to grow in popularity into the 21st century, a lot of official things could technically fall under what originally would have counted as fan fiction. Hell, like, didn't Cap the actor of Captain Kirk write a bunch of his own fan fiction for Star Trek, and it's published as books now? And, like, even good like official fan fiction can exist. Just look to look at Age of Calamity. Age of Calamity is some of the most fan fiction fiction that I have seen and it is fantastic. Wonderful. Amazing. Yeah. This is your room. Great, we get beds. You will live here while you work for us. Things will start getting busy for you tomorrow. So rise early and stop living up to our code. Don't stay up late. Get to sleep early tonight. That is all. We didn't even get orientation. Heck, half the people who are not even fans of the original. <laughs> That's always bad. Like, on the one hand, it might be interesting to get, like, outside perspective onto a franchise, but... At the same time, when you're working on a franchise, shouldn't people want to work on that franchise? Like, come on. And then I just look to, like, the sequel trilogy of Star Wars. If people, like, the... If anybody here enjoys the sequel trilogy of the Star Wars, the Disney trilogy, I don't think it's reprehensible, but, like, they could have gotten any number of Star Wars fans who would have written much better stories that fit the world much better, in my opinion. 
Or like, hell, why couldn't they just reach out to Lucas and be like, hey, can you consult for us? Because I think Lucas in a consulting role would have been super cool. You just need somebody there to temper his insanity sometimes. Oh, are you still awake, Neon? My heart's been racing all day today uh, over every little thing. But I'm glad I finally made myself come here. I thought Wigglytuff would be scary, but he seems pretty friendly. We're going to experience all sorts of things starting tomorrow, but I'm not very scared. In fact, it's the other way around. I'm super excited about the adventures we'll face. I'm feeling a little sleepy. Let's give it our all tomorrow. Okay, Neon. Good night. <laughs> the snoring animation. Um, now I'm suddenly apprenticing at the guild. I gotta admit, it's pretty exciting to be in an exploration team. <laughs> Not the prequels. I'll stand by this. The prequels aren't that bad. They have a lot of weird things in there, but it's merely the fact that there were too many yes-men on the production of the prequels. Lucas's ideas are good so long as enough people are there to kind of guide him in the right direction. Granted, he's also weird sometimes. <laughs> like, I think one team making a Star Wars video game where, like, showing a villain off to Lucas in a meeting, he's like, this guy, he would be friends with Darth Maul or something. <laughs> like how Oda consulted on the One Piece Netflix show. Exactly. Evening, everyone. How's everyone? It's very good. We are beginning our... A explore, explores a sky play through. It is so. I'm, I just love. It. I just love the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games. Again, for all who are watching, this is the expanded sky ROM hack mod, and I highly suggest everyone look into it. It has quality of life stuff, expanded roster. It's very cool. I gotta admit, it's pretty exciting to be in an exploration team, and it's fun to be friends with Silas. But first things first, who am I? How did I turn into a Pokemon? How did I end up unconscious on that beach? I'm feeling sleepy too. Well, thinking about it won't help right now. I'd better focus on the guild's work for now. If I do that, well, everything should become clear eventually. <laughs> What's different about it? Oh, you already asked that. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I got a glance between the game and the chat. <laughs> yeah, I noticed the Zora. Because, <laughs> like, originally I was going to play Eevee as hero and tr uh, Rialu as partner because this mod also adds the fairy typing and the Sylveon evolution for Eevee. But then I looked into the roster and I saw Zoro and I was immediately like, ah, I'm going to choose that instead. I'm sh I'll surely get to the bottom of this in time. Surely we will. That would be kind of amusing if it's like, here's this big mystery to start, and then they just never solve it. Who are you? I'm me. I still haven't beat Destiny Tower yet. It's been forever since I played this game, so I forget how far I got into it. I think I know most of the story, but it's kind of foggy, and I, it's been a long, long time. Exploration Team Quick Tip. You can save a record of your progress by climbing onto your bed from now on. So whenever you want to save your progress, just climb into your bed. Will do, mystical voice of the world. The next morning. Hey! Hey there! Rise and shine! Ah! My head is pounding! What a ridiculously loud voice that's blasted my eardrums! Why are you still asleep? Wake up! Wake up! Put a little makeup. <laughs> this game is probably the reason Grova is one of my favorite Pokemon. Grova. Part of the reason I chose uh, Trico in my Emerald playthrough was because of this game. Uh, my poor ears. Come on, snap out of it! I'm Loudred, and I'm a fellow apprentice. If you're late for our morning briefing, you'll be sorry. So move it. Guildmaster Wigglytuff has got a big temper if you make him lose it. Yowie! That would be one very scary scene. I've got goosebumps just thinking about it. Yeesh! So anyway, I'm not about to get in trouble because you rookies got up late. So get in gear! 
I played Explorers of Darkness up until Temporal uh, Tower, but then gave up and traded it in. Wish I would have pushed through to the end. I can understand, because sometimes Mystery Dungeon... Like, this is definitely one of those games where I play for the story and not really the gameplay. The gameplay is passable, but, like, I would love a Mystery Dungeon... Like, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game... That's, like, set in the world, but with, like, I don't know, 3D beat em up or something. I just love this idea and concept and world. <laughs> uh, my ears are still ringing. What did he say? Something about getting ready? Uh, oh, yeah! We signed up as apprentices at Wigglytuff's Guild, that's right! But that means... Ah, we, we totally overslept! We've got to hurry, Neon! I sucked with <laughs> games as a kid. Mood. I had Chimtron Rialu. Can't believe I found my old 3DS. My favorite Mystery Dungeon and one of my favorite Pokemon games of all time. It's been a long time since I played this, and I remember loving it, so I hope to love it again. You're late, look, rookies! Hush! Your voice is ridiculously loud! Hmm. Everyone seems to be present. Very well. Let us conduct our money address. Guildmaster! The guild is in full attendance. <laughs> Here he comes. I had Rialu and Shinx. That's a nice team. I forget what my original... I Oh, yeah. I, I, I recreated my Blue Rescue Team team originally when I played this the first time. Eevee and Trico. <laughs> Thank you, Guildmaster. Please address the crew. <laughs> Psst, Guildmaster Wigglytuff never ceases to amaze me. Yeah, you got that right. Yep, looks like he's wide awake. Eek, his eyes are wide open, but he's fast asleep. Thank you, sir. We all value your words of wisdom. Riel's name was Apollo, and the Chimtar was my name. Neat. Okay, Pokemon, take our Guildmaster words of wisdom to your heart. Finally, let's not forget our morning cheers. All together now. A uh, one, uh, two, uh, one, two, three! One, don't shirk work! Two, run away and pay! Three, smiles go for miles! Okay, Pokemon, get to work! Hooray! And then, and then Wigglytuff just went back to bed. Hey, you shouldn't just be wandering around there! I was coming to you for advice, my man! You two come here. Do 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 do. Love the music in these games. Love the look of these games. It's all nice. You're just beginners. We'll have you start off with this assignment. This is the job bulletin board. Pokemon from various regions post job requests here. You're aware that bad Pokemon are cropping up in greater numbers, right? Yep, because the flow of time is getting messed up. It's wreaking havoc, right? Which is why lots of bad Pokemon are appearing. The flow of time is getting messed up. Time as in hours and minutes? Do they mean something has gone wrong with time here? And because of that, more and more bad Pokemon are popping up? What's going on here? Precisely. Time getting out of whack has caused an outbreak of bad Pokemon. Perhaps because of all that. We have noticed an increase in the number of jobs. In addition, and it's unknown if this is because of time's influence, there has also been a mass outbreak of mystery dungeons. Mystery dungeons? So, Neon, you know how we got my relic fragment back yesterday? The place where we found it was a mystery dungeon. A mystery dungeon changes each time you go into it. There's a different layout and different items every time you enter. If you faint in the middle of a dungeon, you lose half your money. You can even lose half your items or more. Finally, you get kicked right out. They're very strange places. I think my favorite member of this guild is Chatot. <laughs> he is an amusing little man. But every time you go inside one, there are always new discoveries. They really are fantastic places to go exploring. Well, you're quite informed, aren't you? That makes things much easier for me to explain. Jobs all take place in mystery dungeons. So, let's look for a job that you should perform. Ah, yes, maybe this will do. Oh, really? Let's read it. Hello, my name is Spoink. 
and I almost run off of my most prized possession, my precious pearl. That pearl is life itself to me. I just can't seem to settle down if that pearl isn't in its proper place atop my head. But I've heard my pearl has been sighted. It's said to be on a rocky little bluff. But this bluff is reported to be extremely unsafe. I can never go somewhere so frightening. Oh, friendly readers, would you please be so kind as to go to the bluff and get my pearl? I beg your help, exploration team members. Wait a second. We're going to fetch an item that someone dropped? I'd rather do something that's more of an adventure. I'd rather look for treasures or explore unknown places, things like that. Hush! Yay! It's important that you rookies pay your dues. Now pay attention. I'll repeat the warnings again to make sure they stick. You'll be forced out of a dungeon and sent back here if either of you faints. You lose half your money. And you could lose half your items or more. You'd best be careful. If you have understood all that, I suggest you get on with the job. Uh. Don't worry, Silas, we build up to magical adventures. This must be the bluff's entrance. Spoink's mission description said the pearl is deep down on basement level 7. It sounds like a seriously dangerous place. Let's be careful. Let's do our best, Neon. Unless I would, uh, uh, would like to have a new dungeon game. Yeah, a new mystery dungeon would be... Oh, Jesus, we're already surrounded. You and your partner can now hold one item each. Now that you have the treasure bag, you can also keep 16 items in your inventory. Some items, like bows, work only if held by a Pokemon, so use the give option found under the item selection of the menu to hand it over. All right, we're going to let them all come to me. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to leer at you. <laughs> but yeah, I personally would love another Mystery Dungeon game. Or at least a game that takes place in a Mystery Dungeon-esque world. I just think that would be nice. Where you play as the Pokemon, the Pokemon are the characters. You go on magical adventures. I wouldn't mind the, like, keeping of, like, a human becoming a Pokemon to try and bridge the gap and make it, a. Uh, like, relatable to players. I don't mind that at all. So is evolution in this ROM hack, or is it only in-game, like vanilla? It should be un it should be normal. It, but I, I don't think I read any changes about that. Eating an apple or a gummy fills your belly. Eat one if you're about to faint from hunger. To do so, find another adult. Yeah, that neat. Blast seed. You can eat a blast seed to breathe fire at the target in front of you. To use it, open the yen. You did lead it. But yeah, it should be the same as normal Mystery Dungeon rules. Where evolution is only available post-game. Throw a sleep seed at an enemy to put it to sleep while, for a while. Don't eat it or else you'll fall asleep. Although I, I think not all evolutions have been programmed into the mod just yet. A few, like, uh, final evolutions have been added for, like, score... Like, uh, I forget. I think... Sobble? Some of them. And Litten. But some, like, middle evolutions and such aren't fully put into the game just yet. Or, like, this mod just yet. And I forgot I need to put on the scarf and diddle deep. Eat an apple or a gummy if you get hungry. If you eat, get too hungry, you'll risk fainting before long, so keep an eye on your belly in the menu. Our belly is... Duh, duh, duh. I don't see my belly anywhere. Oh, nope, 92 out of 100. But, of course, let's see. Uh, silver bow, what be you? A silvery bow with an energetic aura. When held, this bow slightly boosts the Pokemon's attack, special attack, defense, and special... I'm gonna wear that. I'm going to be a pretty little Zorua. And defense scarf for Silas. So that's why Silas couldn't carry a Sleep Seed or Blast Seed back in the uh, tutorial dungeon. Because held items are just kept inside the bag. Again, been a long time since I played this, so the finer details of all this is lost on me. Uh, if I remember, you and your partner can't evolve? Uh, it's been a long time since I played this game, so maybe? It's entirely possible that they don't allow evolution for the hero partner in this one, because maybe to address one of my gripes with the original, like, uh, 
rescue team games, I was slightly annoyed when there were no uh, portraits for evolved Pokemon. And so, so when I evolved my partner, who was Shane the Trico, and he turned into Grovile and he had no portrait, that just kind of sucked <laughs> some of the fun out of it. So we have uh, Poison, diddly -dee. This one, there's one PMD tabletop campaign called Rise of the Guildmasters that is amazing. Been going for more than two years now. Neat. Uh, you can, but I think certain conditions have to be met for evolution. Like, I would love to do a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon and Dragons game. But sadly, I have no friends, and I am alone in the world. <laughs> I only ever played a single Dungeons and Dragons one-shot. It was very fun. But only ever once. Eat a warp seed, you'll be warped to a random tile on the same floor. If you throw it at an enemy, they'll be warped away instead. Interesting. Yeah, I just don't have much experience with tabletop games, but I would love a tabletop game of my own. I'd like to play. It would be very fun. Info. Hmm. I forget. I think I will munch. I will eat. And we'll munch on blue gummy for Silas, because we can. Good, special defense went up. Neat. You never lose the bow, by the way, unless you somehow go into a dungeon that removes your items. Interesting. Well, there is D&D &D the game now. D&D &D the game. I don't know. My brain is on fire, so I don't know. A Pokemon will get more HP, raise stats, and a possible new move each time it levels up. Yeah, we've already been through that. In the tutorial dungeon, even. Hmm. You know what I'll do? I will go to you, go to IQ, and uh, switch that, and then we'll turn that back on for, like, bosses and stuff. A little micromanaging as a treat. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3. That's true. I didn't want to assume, because you never know when Wizards of the Coast will be like, we introduce D&D &D the game for all people of the universe. And besides, Tabaxi aren't in Baldur's Gate 3, so it makes me sad. That's not just a joke. Baldur's Gate 3 is amazing. I just need to play it more. But too many games, so many games. I've been wrapped, and I am dying. And now he's wrapped, and now he's dying. Darn you, you little monster. Oh, you are a monster. I will take the damage so he doesn't get eaten alive. <laughs> Screw Witch of the Coast, honestly. That's true, they do a lot of just very bad things. Uh, you could also save the gummies for a uh, smoothie when it's unlocked. Oh, yeah, Spindus Cafe! I completely forgot. It's been so long. Ah, shit. Here we go again. I need to be very careful around the chingling. Lest they come for me. Shit. How dare the game make me miss so often. Alright. We are going to do the dance of healing. So we can slowly regain our health. And if a monster comes by, we shall uh, run into the stairs to escape them. Or kill them, and then go into the stairs. But that kind of defeats the purpose of healing. The healing dance. The healing dance is here. Who needs to eat orin berries when you can just let time heal all wounds? And that should do good. I'm also just wa uh, waiting for my Zorark posters and paintings to arrive. Huzzah! Always, n always nice posters and artwork. Artwork is very nice. Just so much. There's so much good Pokemon artwork out there. It's amazing. Turn bonus experience points to Pokemon somebody who use its move at least once while battling. Neat. Use moves option in the menu. I do kind of like that. That's kind of neat, as opposed to, uh, buh, buh, buh. Rescue Team. Because in Rescue Team, you had to finish with a move, I believe. But in this game, you just have to move, use a move once. Nice. A nice quality of life of fidelity. And the monster goes through the canals of the dungeon. What's that?
Max Elixir. That's always nice. And we shall beat you down. Uh, you can press A plus B to wait. That's true, but I didn't want a chingling to come up while I was, like, zoning out. And wanted to, like, control the flow of time there. Lest, lest I get constricted against my will. Level ups galore! They should give as much attention to not employing scummy practices as much as the people who have offended by half-orcs. <laughs> Uh, Wizard of the Coast. Businesses in general. <laughs> oh no, I'm cringing. That monster was cringe. I told the worst joke in the world. That works too. I tried to maneuver so my, uh, my partner will be next to me. Instead, they just attack from a distance. It's almost like quick attack is them running up, slapping the enemy, and then running away. Onwards we go. If a Pokemon's HP gets low, it puts itself in a great risk of fainting from further enemy. When that happens, just run away. But the, the morning address says not to do that. I do believe that that is the fairy gummy, because that's part of the things that this mod does. Since it adds fairy type, it also adds fairy gummies, which is very nice of them. We shall move along down here, explore the entire dungeon, get money, get paid, exploration. Guild leader grind set. I do like the music of this opening dungeon. It's just nice and just... I'm trying to think of the words. Because it has just enough to kind of have a, a battle beat to it, but it's also kind of soothing and nice, but action-y. It's just nice. And we're just being uh, attacked from all sides, it seems. Be gone, Satan. Anything in here? Nah, just an enemy. A Lilip. I have been constricted against my will. And Orenberry. Oh, it's the fake one! This is an Orenberry, isn't it? Wait, if you look closer, that's not an A, it's an E! This is an Orenberry! Look-alike item. You should always check the item info to make sure you get the right item and not one of these sneaky look-alikes. We're gonna maybe hand that over... Sell it, maybe? Or I don't know, maybe some psychopath will be like, Hey, bring me an Orenberry so I can poison my enemies. Also, during one of my runs in the final maze, something happened which I wish that I had a capture card because I got confused and I do a 180 degree turn and snipe my partner. The ultimate betrayal. Wow, we've come all this way, right, hero? Turns around. And the game was rigged from the start. <laughs> Help your partner be a smart teammate by tweaking its IQ skills and tactic settings. You can find these in the menu under Team. You can also use the Switch option to keep your partner from using certain moves. And save them for boss fights. We got an actual Orenberry. And somebody else in this dungeon had an Orenberry. I wonder why we were, like, told of that. And now we're going to be told of everyone's acquiring of that Orenberry. It did 187 damage from a 1-plus flamethrower. Jesus. Now I'm just imagining... Like, like, oh boy, death approaches. The item Heal Seed heals all of your Pokemon's status problems. To use it, open the menu of X, and then eat. I think the game could just say, hey, if you want to heal, eat. <laughs> We will kill you, Lily. You must die for your sins. Yeah, the music is amazing as well. Uh, Fidelio's cover for Don't Ever Forget Destroyed Me, especially by now that I lost my aunt earlier this month. Ooh, my sympathies. May the time be nice for you and hold her memory in your heart. 
Like, the music in these games are just amazing, though, yeah. Like, uh, Run Away, the fugitive theme from Blue Rescue Team, lives in my heart and soul eternally now. It will never leave. Like, even the, uh, video that I watched to just, uh, listen to the music again is just... Is somebody actually, uh, thought up lyrics to go along with the th th song, and it just lives in my heart and soul. Love it. The motif of it playing again and again throughout Blue Rescue Team. It just fills my soul. Just so, so good. I like to believe my Chimchar had to sneeze. <laughs> just use Flamethrower accidentally. <laughs> Friendly fire by accident. That's how you write a story when you from your playthrough. You interpret what happens. The more I think about it, the funnier it gets to me. And there's the pearl! Oh, this is, uh, I like these. I like these little end rooms. They have so much personality. It looks so good. Look at that water! It looks so nice. This must be Spoink's pearl. Let's hurry back with it. Thank you. The pearl must be propped up on my head, you see? I missed it so much! I just couldn't settle down without it up there! So I was just boinging and sproinging everywhere! That's why I'm covered in dings and bumps! But thanks to you, that long nightmare is over! You have my sincere thanks! And I got a protein! Oh yeah! I can get small! Throw- <gasps> No! Dang it. Oh, I can choose to throw away an item in here, good. I panicked there for a moment. Oh. I want to see HD versions of some of these rooms. Of the end rooms, yeah. Just like... Painstakingly recreating those rooms and just glorious HD would be so good. Uh. Be so nice. One thing. I would, like, I know that there's, like, I think... I either, like, a single episode or a mini-series of, like, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon anime stuff, but I would love a full adaptation. An animation. Glorious for the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I think it would be great. Let's see. I think we shall throw away a Pekka Berry. Or Sleep Seed. I think we've run across more like Sleep Seed and stuff, so goodbye, Sleep Seed. Yes. And put calcium in the treasure bag. And iron. I'm gonna have to throw away so many things. Throw away an item. Kind of annoying that it won't go directly into item storage, but oh well. I guess get rid of the Orin Berry. We don't need you. Dang it. Orin Berry, go home. Uh, to the trash heap. Know your place, trash! I also got 2,000 Pokey. Incredible! Oh wow, 2,000 Pokey? All this money is for us? Of course, of course. That's nothing compared to my pearl's value. Farewell. And now for Chat out to steal from us. We're rich, Neon. We got rich just like that. Well done, team. Now hand that money over, if you please. Huh? Most of the money from jobs go to the Guildmaster, you see. And your team's share of the money comes out to this much. Huh? We keep only 200? We... That seems that... I'm sorry, shut up, but that is a ripoff. Like, 50% maybe, but... 200? That's... That's 10%. That's awful. Well, that's the guild's rules. You simply have to accept it. Huh? <laughs> I, <laughs> this made me hate Chatot. I felt robbed. At least it goes to the guild, I suppose. <laughs> Maybe. Everyone, thanks for waiting. I finished making dinner. Come on, dinner's on. Everyone's so happy! I mean, considering that we get, like, room and board, it's not terrible. I'm done eating. Excellent meal. I'm stuffed. And now I'm getting sleepy. Yep, I'm off to bed. Good night, gang. Good night. We haven't even talked to anybody else yet. <laughs> Damn taxes. Wanted to flamethrower that bird. <laughs> I think the money's just feed Wigglytuff's addiction to perfect apples. Probably. 
Listen, Neon. Was it today hectic? So much happened. But I'm relieved that our first job was a success. It was really upsetting how Wigglytuff's guild took most of the money. That's just the cost of training, I guess. We can't do anything about it. But what made me really happy today, though, was getting thanked by Spoink. And we also got protein, calcium, and iron. That is amazing value. There are tip. <laughs> <sighs> I'm getting sleepy. I'm going to sleep. Let's try our best again tomorrow. Good night, Neon. No introspection tonight, it seems. Chapter 3. The Scream. The next morning. Up and at him! It's morning! Uh, good morning, Neon. Would you like to save your adventure? Save and continue indeed! I think the money's just... <laughs> I already read that, but my brain just looks over to read and just... <laughs> I'm My brain's on hyper time right now. Gotta do, gotta do, gotta do, gotta do. No time to think, only do. And three smiles go for miles. Does that imply they use a specific measurement system in this world? How do they come to the use of miles? Okay, Pokemon, time to get to work. Hooray! All right, chat out. How are you going to rob us today? Oh, you two! Still wandering around lost, it seems. Well, come with me! What do now? Ah, oh, a different board. Huh? Last time we did a job, it was from the side of the other side. Correct! Today we'll have you do a job listed on this side. How is that it's different from the board on the other side? Take a closer look! Oh, look, Neon. There are posters up here that show a variety of Pokemon. Well, they all look pretty cool. Are they famous explorers? What are these Pokemon, Shadot? The Pokemon posted here are outlaws. They're all shady characters, and they're wanted for committing crimes. Oh, no! They're outlaws? You're going to send us out on our second day to capture a criminal. I'm sorry, but that's something that you, like... Like, you should have your low-level apprentices do normal jobs. Like, hey, go save a Pokemon from a dungeon. They fell in there. Go find an item. Do stuff like that. Odds and ends. And then once they've leveled up a rank or two, then you send them after, uh, after criminals. Excuse me. So there are bounties on their heads. <laughs> Bounty hunters. That almost implies a wanted alive or dead. Pokemon murder is canon. In other words, there's a cash reward if you capture one. There are so many aggressive Pokemon around these days that everyone's finding it hard to keep up with the problem. Wait, you're telling us to go catch these outlaws? You can't be serious. That's not possible. <laughs> Just joking. The bad Pokemon out there come in all shades of badness. Some of these Pokemon are completely wicked through and through. But there are also bad Pokemon who are merely petty thieves. So you've got evil to naughty and everything in between. So I'm sure we can avoid giving you a job catching a super bad Pokemon. <laughs> One thing I remember is that I held onto a violent seed for the whole game. Dialga must have been scared when a level 46 Chimchar with max boosted stats. I don't know what a violent seed does. It's been so long. In and, and, and plus, I am a fool. I don't really use strategy. I'll try to use strategy, but my brain can only do so much. I didn't know how powerful Dialga was, so I over-prepped. That's probably better than under-prepping. <laughs> Would love to be stuck at a boss for eternity. <laughs> so, look over these posters. Then pick a Pokemon that looks weak enough for you to bring to justice. Um, you say some are weak, but they're still bad Pokemon, aren't they? I'm scared of dangerous Pokemon. Silas, we have been fighting wild Pokemon in dungeons. For three days now. We beat up Zubat and coughing. It's all part of your training. You'll get through it, I'm sure. But I suppose you do need to be prepared to confront a tough opponent. So I'll have someone give you a tour of the facilities. Hey, Bidoof! Bidoof! Yep, yep. <laughs> you called? Ah, Bidoof. 
These are the new recruits that just joined us. Take them and show them around the town. Yes, sirree. By golly, I'll do just that. Yep, yep. This is Badoof. He's one of our fellow apprentices. I want you to pay attention to what Badoof has to say and follow his orders. <laughs> Max is attacking special. <laughs> Felt like JoJo line was like, I can't beat the shit out of you without getting closer. Amazing. Well, to be fair, Zubat and Coffeen suck. That they do. That they do. Off your go! Aw, oh, shucks. I'm overjoyed. Why's that? I'm glad to have members junior to me. I'm almost overcome with joy right now. I might just blubber with happiness. Before you all sign on, I was the most recent rookie. Well, I'd best show you around. Come with me, please. We will follow you around, Bidoof. First things first. Here we have Krogunk. Uh, but to tell the truth, I don't have any idea what that Pokemon's up to. He always seems to be fiddling around with that big cauldron back there. It's all a mystery to me. Yep, yep. Over this way's the mess hall. We were there last night. Did you not notice us? And if you all look that way, you'll find the crew rooms. And this here leads to the Guildmaster's chamber. Next, I'll guide you both around places outside the guild. Badoof is a nice little boy. Protect him at all costs. Da -da 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 -da. I forgot about this song, it's so good! I hear you can make a record of your adventure at the watering well. Usually, you make a record of your adventure by going to your bed at the guild, yep, yep. Seems you can make a record of your adventure over there, too. By golly, it's a handy spot when you want to record your adventure frequently. We slept in our rooms for two days. Love the music, man! This is the main square for the local Pokemon. It's called Treasure Town. Oh, I can tell you about Treasure Town, too. That over there is Duskull Bank. We can save our money there. Our 200 Pokey Dollars. And that over there is the Electivire Shop. That's where you can do things like link moves together, but... It looks as if Electivire isn't here today. Here we have the Kecleon Market. You can buy and sell items here. Kangaskhan! The ultimate MILF. And there's Kangaskhan's storage. Items stored there will never be lost. If you have precious items that you can't afford to lose, store them here before you go on an adventure. And those are the basic places that exploration teams visit. I like I like to think that Silas is all in the know of like the places around Treasure Town, but knew nothing about like oh you get taxed, and that should do it. You sure know a lot, yes, sirree, and that's good to know. All right then, come find me when you're all ready to go. I'll give you a helping hand with selecting the right outlaw for you. Thank you, Padoof. You've been a really nice. Oh golly, you're embarrassing me. Oh shucks. I'll be waiting at the guild's upper underground floor for you. Thanks, Badoof. Okay, let's go. I'd like to see what kinds of items are available. Let's go to the Kecleon Market. Before we head back, a visit to the Kecleon Market is a must. I also like the like design of the upper map. It's super nice. We're a two-member exploration team. We're Seedot and Pidgey. Our team name Seedgy combines our names. So remember it. Exploration teams gather here from all over. Our own team Seedgy is one of them. Hey, 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 you there. You're the new rookies at the guild, aren't you? Hey, hey, my name is Corfish. I'm an apprentice at Wigglytuff's guild too, hey, hey. If you don't know what's going on or whatever, you come ask me. You got that, hey, hey. Oh my gosh, the new guild recruits. Delighted to meet you. You can get all sorts of things here. It's quite convenient. Do, a, do build a stock of items that will aid your explorations. A chancy building, that wasn't mentioned at all. 
I will say the writing in this game ranged from phenomenal to repeating the same thing in three sentences back to back to back. To be fair, uh, that's probably to beat into the heads of children playing the game like, hey, this is a mechanic, remember it. This is an important thing. But then the rest of the writing is actually treating it seriously. Oh, I guess just a chance he's just not home right now. And that looks kind of disturbing. There's no, there's a notice posted here. Something's written on it. Marowak Dojo has collapsed, but it will rise from the rubble again. Yes, the dojo will be resurrected to its former glory. Marowak Dojo Sensei. Ba 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 da ba ba da ba 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 da. Our exploration team is called Team Tasty. That cool name was thought up by my partner Wurmple next to me. What do you think? Cool name, am I right? Excuse me, why did I pick the name Team Tasty? Well, um, I think that's how my partner will think of me eventually. Yeesh. <laughs> that implies that Pokemon eat each other in this world. That's disturbing. Welcome to the Kecleon shop. Very well. Feel free to examine my merchandise. Geo Pebble. I might have to grab that. I'm all in. Oh, wait. I need to uh, put away my stuff first. Oh, damn it. I wanted to put away my stuff. <laughs> ah, little Marilyn DeZuru. Welcome, my young friends. Hello. May I buy an apple? Oh, most certainly. Meryl and Azuril bought an apple at Kecleon Market. Thank you, Mistress Kesleon. No, thank you, my young friends. You are to be admired. Adorable. You see, those delightful children are brothers. Lately, their poor mother has fallen sick, so those youngsters come and do the shopping for her. It's quite remarkable. Though very young, they've stepped up and taken charge. Mr. Kecleon! Oh, what's the hurry? What makes you return in such a rush? There was an extra apple. We didn't pay for this many. Oh, yes. That, young friends, is a gift from me and my brother. Please, share it among yourselves and do enjoy. Really? Hey, <laughs> thank you, Mr. Kecleon and Mr. Kecleon. Oh, not to worry, my friends. Do take care on your way home. Adorable. Youch! Poor Azuril. Why'd I take it? Well, we're sorry to bother you. Thank you so much. Here you go. But then suddenly... What? Huh? What was that? D dizzy? Or am I... Horrifying. Help! Well, that's not good at all. Uh, my name, my team's name was going to be the Fun Gang, but I had to shorten it to the Fun Gang with no spaces. Amusing. The start of this game is pretty slow, and then you go on to expedition, and it feels like a whole different game. Yep, I do like the kind of slow start that's like building up this world. Also, amazing Zoroa face. I remember just backlining and throwing rocks at bosses. Felt like Pikmin. Imagine if you could throw your partner. I choose you, Rialu. Don't throw me! I watched a playthrough where a group made up a whole thing about the Merrill brothers being gangsters. Amazing. Explain why there's a Zora in the G4 Pokemon game? Because we are playing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon The Expand Sky. Expanded Sky. ROM hack mod. Which basically adds a few quality of life assurances and... Includes a few different starters to choose from, just for fun. I highly recommend checking out the mod. It's a fun time. What was that? I'm sure I heard a shout for help just now. Everyone thinks I've gone insane. Did that shout come from you? Is there something the matter? Hey, Azuril! What's going on? Hurry home! Yep, I'm coming! Wait up! Are you alright? Yep! We're done with our shopping. Now we gotta look for an item we've lost. Let's get going. Yep, I'm coming. <laughs> I guess I can see the future. <laughs> Those little guys are cute. Oh? What's the matter, Neon? I thought I heard someone scream for help. Huh? Did I hear a shout for help just then? Uh, no, I didn't hear anything like that. 
Hey, Kecleon Brothers, did you hear anything strange just a moment ago? No, nothing out of the ordinary. I didn't hear anything odd either. It seems like the Kecleon Brothers didn't hear anything odd either. You must have imagined it, Neon. Well, it was in my head, technically. Uh, that I could not figure out how to run the emulator does not recognize the files. <laughs> it's because you need... Uh, uh, if It's an odd process. You need the patcher and a ROM. And then you need to specifically put uh, dot .nds to make it an, a, a runnable thing. It's a little finicky. <laughs> oh no, they can see me! I've got to stop you from destroying my race! In the future! We already did that. I knew you would do that! Now I gotta kill you! No, I'm positive that I didn't imagine it. I definitely heard it. That shout that I heard. Help! There's no mistaking it. That was Azuril's scream. Uh, are you daydreaming? Let's move it, Neon. <laughs> Hello, Kangaskhan. Hello there. Welcome to Kangaskhan Storage. Would you like to store? You can use that to put more in there. Gonna put the things that we don't immediately think they'll need. And I'll save the gummies from now on so we can have glorious things. Oh no, can we only have 64 things placed away? I'll put the items you choose in storage, okay? Okay, store it away. You can count on me, honey. Let me see. Yep, you can only have a certain amount of things in there. Oh no. <laughs> Limited options. The dimensional scream is what it's called. I can hear screams from other dimensions. I wish our dimensional neighbors shut up. Yo, are you two the new apprentices at the guild? And hello, the name's Vigoroth. I'm no good at some steel. I'm always bursting with energy. Great to meet you. We're Team Ebony. We've traveled and explored all over. And you're still just, uh, yeah, good for you. My favorite things, darlings. Well, do I ever have an eye for sparklies? I keep telling my partner that we should seek up flashy bubbles and glamorous glitz. But Shepard always reacts coolly to my suggestions. But she seems not to hear. Or she just won't listen. Ah, it's aggravating! Very interesting. Apparently someone made a fire here. <laughs> it gets bigger every rank up. I like that. Well, now that we put away our diddle do, let's see. What can we buy? What should we buy? I could get bio, bi bio pebbles. One second. I'll look at uh, what your brother has to sell. Welcome to Kecleon. Do you have a mm, sleep talk roll call orb? I guess summons team members. Interesting. But I don't think we'll buy anything just yet. Apparently, uh, a Zatu is setting up there. And I suppose that we shall put our money in the bank. Oh, well, what's going on over there? Uh, stranger danger. Stranger danger. Yay! Thank you. Please, it's nothing. What's going on? Oh, hi. Some time ago we lost an item that's pretty important to us. We've been looking all over, but we haven't found it yet. Then Mr. Drowsy came along, and he says he may have seen our lost item somewhere. He even offered to help us look for it. We're so happy about this. Yeah, that's great for you. Thank you, Mr. Drowsy. Oh, please. I'd have to have a cold heart to ignore kids in need. I can't turn a blind eye. Let us be on our way to begin our search. Yep. Yep. Whoops. Excuse me. Oh, it's happening again. Uh, what is this? That drowsy sure is a nice Pokemon, isn't he? I'm impressed. Meanwhile, you were kind of suspicious towards me when we first met. Huh? I see how it is. With more and more bad Pokemon around... It's hard to do good deeds. It's happening again. Another dizzy spell. If you keep being difficult, it will mean big trouble for you. 
Help! Horrifying. Orbs can't be used in boss fights. Understandable. Have a nice day. Because that would make it a bit cheap, but I, at least you can use seeds, apparently. <laughs> Don't trust the drowsy. Never trust the drowsy. Or the hypno. Probably due to its power. I'm just vaccine with the popcorn. Here comes the schizophrenia. Nah, nah, nah. It's just memory issues. We're, we're seeing our past in the future. And other people's pasts in the future. It's completely normal. What was that? It would be nice if those little guys found their items soon. Huh? What's the matter, Neon? You're looking awfully grim. Huh? You want to tell me something? I just saw the future. What? You had a dizzy spell? Then you saw Azuro being threatened by Drowsy? So you want to go rescue Azuro right away? It's an emergency? Well, what you described does sound like an emergency, but... Well, it's not like I don't trust you, Neon, but I just can't believe it. After all, Drowsy seemed to be a sincerely nice Pokemon, didn't he? I watched three of them go off earlier. They looked like they were having a good time, didn't they? You're probably just tired, Neon. Maybe that's why you had that, had that bad daydream. Was that it? Just a bad daydream? Come to think of it, that Drowsy didn't seem like a bad Pokemon. And that's because the worst people look like good people until they're not. Anyways, we're only apprentices. We can't just do whatever we want. Sure, it's worrying, but we have to concentrate on our guild work for now. Let's get ourselves ready to explore, then we should find Bidoof. Bidoof's supposed to be waiting for us on the guild's upper underground floor. Let's go, Neon! Welcome to Dusko Bank! How may I help? <laughs> Did you know that if you fall in a dungeon... Half of your money will be spirited away, never to be found again. My theory is that all the money that you find in a dungeon is money that other people lost after fainting, and it's just evenly spread across all the dungeons. Avoid that fate <laughs> by leaving your money in Dusko Bank. Then if you are defeated in a dungeon, you'll find your money safe and sound with me. I admit, I may appear rather sinister. <laughs> but don't judge me by my looks. I'm hauntingly honest. <laughs> so leave your money with me. It will rest in peace. <laughs> uh, let's take my money. <laughs> take all of it. It will rest here in peace forever, if you wish. <laughs> I look forward to your next visit. <laughs> Question. What made you decide to name your partner si uh, Pokemon Silas? I honestly don't know. Same reason why I didn't know why I named my Trico in Blue Rescue Team all those years ago uh, Shane. It just came to me. just like, I like that name. I'm going to stick with that name. That's his name now. A part of me wanted to name him Cyrus, but that's too close to a uh, uh, diamond, pearl, and uh, platinum villain. Huh? Are you folks all set and ready to, for some exploring? We are. Oh, yes, sirree. Reckon you all you are ready. Then let's pick ourselves a lawbreaker for you to find. Well, you've got your pick of these sorry bunch of characters. Let's see. What should we pick? <clears throat> As your mentor, how about I do the choosing? Don't choose anyone too scary. Yes, sirree. I hear you. Let's see. Eeny, meeny. Stand clear. Updating listings. Stand clear. Updating listings. What's that? What's happening? Oh, the data's getting updated. It's being updated. Yikes, did you see that? The panel flipped over. What's going on in there? The Outlaw Notice Board and Job Bulletin Board are set up on revolving panels. While the panel is flipped over, a Pokemon named Doug Trio swaps up the old jobs with new ones. Doug Trio? I <laughs> like, okay, this is cool. They made an entire sec, like an entire environment to show this little animation. That is cool. That is nice. I like it. It's effort. It's beautiful. It's utterly majestical. 
updating data is Duck Trio's duty. He tunnels his way to our guild. Freaking headbutts the board, gives everyone a good scare. Then he flips the panel and updates the data. But I like the effort they made an entire environment just to show this off. It's cool. This duty doesn't go get, get noticed much, but it's very important. Yep, yep. That's why the trio takes such great pride in the duty he does. Oh, is that so? Update complete. Stand clear. Update complete. Stand clear. Oh, looks like he's done. Yes, sirree! The data is updated. The list of outlaws has been refreshed, so let's pick one. Uh, uh, huh? What's ailing you? Why are you all shivering all over all of a sudden? It's not cold here, after all. Th look at this, Neon. At the top, on the left. It's the bastard. It's drowsy. He's a wanted criminal! We have to get moving. Azura will be in danger! Now what's going on? Why are you all off to? Uh, saving people. Sometimes I wish I was in the Pokemon universe. It is a wondrous daydream, at the very least. I always like these tiny details, but how does Ductrios update the data if it doesn't have hands? <laughs> uh, probably the same way that Diglett had feet back in Rescue Team. Feet? He has them? Look, there's Meryl! Meryl, what's the matter? Where are Azuril and Drowsy? Yes, about them. After we all left, we went looking for our last item together. But I wound up all alone when Mr. Drowsy went somewhere with Azuril. I called and called, but they didn't come back. I got scared. So which way did they go? Th that way. I think Drowsy and Azuril went in this direction? Yeah. Oh, Neon. The Drowsy and Azuril you saw in your dream. They were saying you saw them in a mountainous place, right? I get the feeling that they're up ahead here. Let's get going, Neon. How does Ghastly learn Ice Punch? It's probably less an actual punch and more like covering a segment of the Pokemon's body in an icy power that it then strikes at the enemy with. It's just called a punch because it predominantly comes out like a punch for most Pokemon. More than likely. <laughs> Throw a stun seed at an enemy to stun it. Make it unable to act until it is attacked. Beware. Eating it will stun you. Well, that's not good. I should have bought those Geo Pebbles. Be gone! Ah, oh, shit. We're surrounded by birds! Eh, this place is for the birds. Well, that's not good at all. Fuck, we already died. The game just threw us to the wolves. Ah, that didn't go well. Let's break for today. Dang it, game. I would, I should have saved, and then I could reset for my, my own safety. Very rude of you, game, to throw three enemies at me at like that. Very rude. Such is the roguelike way. Don't save. We've already suffered. I got put into a corner. I should have gone into the tunnel and waited for him. I thought we could take him. Hurry, we have to rescue Azuril. Not my fault, the game just immediately cornered me. I thought I was safe. I figured, oh, this will be fine. I, we have the bows and stuff. No. Aren't you a wolf, Neon? Well, the Zoroa, yes. But me, I am a... My persona be there is a cat. Oh. To Mount Bristle. A Zoroark would have a hilarious Pokemon to have a uh, real world... Uh, the amount of trickery you could do with one. The amount of illusions would be cool. Dang it. All right, I'm gonna go in here. Dang it, we are not doing good at all. Why is this doo-duo wrecking us? Oh, and I lost all our shit. Oh, well. 
All my calcium and shit. How dare the game throw this much of a monster at us early on. Oh, and you run away, you little bitch. Gonna fall back. Jesus Christ, game. Give us a moment. What the f Game, stop. For the love of God. Why is this suddenly just, like, throwing all the damage at us? Ah, shit. Please die. Thank you. <laughs> the duo, ah. The talk scares me. It would have annihilated us with one more strike. Ah, uh, we are gonna die. Oh, no. I don't think there's any way out of it. It's gonna do a quick attack. Oh, dang it. If that do duo was smart, why, Silas? I, I think, thank you for the endurer, but... We're dead. We're just dead. Okay, good, it was the one that was gonna run away. Why is this game being so mean right now? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, man. There's just nothing I, I can really do. There's nothing I can fucking do! Why is this such a big difficulty jump game? Why? Why are you so mean to me? You know what? Ugh, ugh, pain. Pain and misery. Oh. I'm pretty sure a pursuit hits from two way. Oh, I did not know that. I just think about it a lot. You could get drinks on someone else's tab with a Zorak. Zorak, the ultimate being in, like, blah, blah, blah. Identity theft. But I'm going to. Hmm. I'm going to quickly. Because since we just got annihilated there, I think that would be fine enough if I reset to back to that first day. We'll rush through the story bits. I'll use my calciums and stuff, and then we'll head in again. Because I think that I've been annihilated enough that I earned a bit of a break. Let's try again. Just a little bit of a soft reset. I have earned my suffering, thank you, game. Continue. We'll speed through all the story stuff that happened, and I'll use my actual stuff. And everything. It'll be a long story segment to go through, but considering that we didn't use our calcium and protein and iron and stuff, I think it's worth it. And plus, I can do this. I can be super speed. Because, yeah, I need to be a little bit smarter. Work a little bit harder. Because this, this game's throwing it all out there. <laughs> speed run time. Um, uh, humiliate yourself uh, and retry percent world record. The ultimate record. My ulti- the ultimate genre. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Nightcore. Alright, first things first. Into the item list. I'm just saying that you could do a lot, like, you don't want to go to a family gathering, send your Zoroark as you. Then your Zoroark just takes over your life. I feel like... Hmm. Can you not... Let's see. 
Nope, you cannot eat outside, it seems. Which is a little weird, but oh well. I guess that's to stop you from eating orin berries and stuff outside of dungeons. Still. I'd like to store things, Mama Kangaskhan. Let's see, Blast Seed, Pekka Berry, Warp, Max Elixir. No, want that. Pink, Death, there. Store. First turn in the dungeon. We are going to freaking like, eat all those stat-ups, because, dear lord, we need them. We need them, and I forgot about them, and then we need them, and we can't use them in the town. <laughs> oh. What if someone catches on? <laughs> yeah, if someone catches on to the Zorark gambit. <laughs> the Zorark somebody else sent finds you out and tells their master. And now everyone knows. But, like, surely there's got to be, like, a Pokemon out there that, like, <laughs> steals human identities. But I just gotta say, so far, I really do like the story up. I do like the story of the game so far. It seems quite simple. There's intrigue of the, like, oh... Like, there's something weird. You can see the future. I like it. It's intrigue, but it's still kind of within the realm of normal so far. I'll store all my money. By God, we need to have our money diddly deed. But doesn't, like, Zork have to be hit physically for the illusion to break? Maybe. But there's also the possibility that somebody could tell. I don't know. There's enough Pokemon in the world. That somehow a Pokemon can tell that a Pokemon is a person and a person is a Pokemon. <laughs> he was right here. He heard us talk. Let's go exploring, I guess. Or, like, do this again. Through super speed. But basically, I need to get back into the groove of save all time. Because pain is imminent in this world. <laughs> I need to get smart, get good, get strong. Even if it ruins the, like, emotional, emotionality of the scenes. But yeah, it is a very good, it is very good, it's very nice. In the anime, Grovile was voiced by Dan Green, who caught me off guard the first time I watched it. Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> oh no! Pursuit. Nope. Pursuit's different move, I guess. Dang it. <laughs> I need to use Pursuit more just for the extra damage it gives me against my enemies. Jesus fucking Christ. No, no. I'm dead. Again. <laughs> At least this, this soft reset. Why did it spawn me? In there with three assholes. Jesus Christ, it wants me to die. Now we have to go back and listen to Bidoof again. Jesus Christ. That is twice now. We go to the place first turn in a room. Like, the first combat encounter of the Mount Bristle is death. I mean, there is black and white episode where Zorak pretends to be both Nurse Joy and an Adino. They never expect the double Zorark gambit. Oh yeah, but like, Dan Green. Always nice to have Yami Grovile. He's just out there doing all the anime roles. I wonder if he's still doing anime. It'd be kind of amusing. Let's see, will we- uh, will our first encounter of evil be... Alright, now that we're at here where we can hopefully stem the flow of enemies if they run at us. Time to eat. I'm going to give... Hmm, I wonder if I can throw it at you. Because how do I get you to ingest? It's probably the same thing as eat, but let me find one that I want to use. Boost defense. I'm going to take a lot, so... Okay, good. It is that. I swallow iron. I get boosted. 
We use our vitamins. I'm gonna give this to you since you're part... I believe you're part fighting type, but meh. Do lots of damage, boy. And special attack, I believe, will go to me. Man, a full animated series of this would be great. That's what I'm saying! It's so good! There's also smart enough to take public transportation. <laughs> For the Zorok car. Yeah, I would love just like... I want more love for a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon in general. Why would you attack that one? Maybe I should set him to go after enemies. <laughs> Basically, if I see an enemy in this place, I need to put on Pursuit. Or else we're just gonna fucking die. <laughs> I haven't really heard him in any recent anime, sadly, but I can definitely uh, see that he will forever be the king of games. Yep. Throw an XI seed at a tough enemy to make it dizzy and behave strangely, but don't eat it yourself. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Alright. Going to... Pursuit. And scratch. Fuck off. I'm going to leer at you to do more damage. You gotta be fucking careful, man. Please die. Please die. Please die. Let's see. Please die. I'm scared now. This Romac might have boosted difficulty. I don't think so. I don't think it said that. Apologies about pursuit. I thought it was a range attack. It did give me counter, and that is very good. Counter is very handy. Quickly heal. Now we're gonna go. Run away! Rocks! The ultimate way to win! Throw Geo Pebbles at distant foes. First set them as your ammo. Use the item set option, then throw them by holding L and pressing R. You can hold up to 99 Geo Pebbles or sticks as one item in the treasure bag. So make sure to sort through the treasure bag by opening it with select. Yes! We have won the game! Yep, doesn't change anything but except starters. Oh, you little motherfuckers are gonna die. Alright, we're gonna wait around this corner for this guy to get here. And then we're just gonna kill him. Ambush time! I learned fake tears! Well, I am a Zoroa. I do lie to people. Let's see what... Oh yeah, I didn't have a full set. What do fake tears do? Reduces the target's special defense by two levels. I don't think I have anything that does special damage yet, but oh well. Alright, now we know where the stairs are. Thank you for coming to die. <laughs> yes, the OP item. Rocks for life. You don't... Uh, Silas, please, don't counter all too much. Countering too much will just lead us to die. I'll do better now. I hope so. I don't want to die. Well, if there's anybody to face and... I'm going to throw a rock at you. you. Why? Oh, you're probably out of actual attacks, aren't you? Oh no. Is that why this game gave me uh ba ba ba. I'm trying to think what it's called. Gave me the max power point item early on. Cuz I'm going to cuz like, yeah, you're going to be using this a lot. Ambush the turkey. Nope, he still has that. 
blowback orb. Basically, corners are friend in this game. Open rooms is danger. <laughs> come on. Gonna leer at you. I'm gonna kill you. Damn it, live. God, you have you're a healthy fucking starly. Jerk. Double jerk. Ow. I probably should have uh, that's a good uh kill him for me. <laughs> Thank God I'm only working two days this week. May the work be kind to you. Do you know how to move diagonally? I do it that way, but I think there's better ways to do it. Personally, I like that because it just works. Yeah, I can do it, but for some reason, I I, I just do this. <laughs> One tip to the final maze that I did was staving for multiple low floors. <laughs> Alright, save. Uh, you fight it. I throw rock. Damn it. I throw rock. I'm gonna get out of here! We'll find a tunnel to <laughs> heal ourselves in. Hello, monster. All right, I feel safe here to gather health. Although that does like waste, uh, like belly, but oh well. Or at least I presume that it wastes, buddy. Please be a reviver. <laughs> ah, oh, uh, for a moment I thought it was reviser, and I was scared. But no, reviver. Yes. Insurance policy. Life insurance. And a blast seed. I'm gonna use that on that motherfucker. I'm drowsy. Ah, shit. A reviver seed. Nothing more beautiful in the world. How dare you. Why is the Geo dude, the literal rock who throws himself at me, do less damage than the frickin' birds? Eh, yeah, this is for the birds. I gotta be on the lookout for a fucking blast seed coming from out of a rock. Please don't have that reviver seed. That'd be very mean of you. Well, we got a blast seed now. Oh no. Why do why do you scare me? That's probably why. I had an in, in, innate fear of you. I had an innate fear of it coming for me. Yeah, we're not looking around anymore. We're going to the end. I need to get rid of this poison. Let's get out of here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yes, come one at a time. Yeah, come one at a time, you idiots. Face the power of strategy. And another level up. We need all the level ups that we can get. You don't have to worry about the enemies using items against you. Good, because for some reason I could have sworn that enemies in Blue Rescue Team <laughs> came from my head more than once. Thank you, Shane. Or not Shane, Silas. Man, I've played too much Blue Rescue Team with my Trico Shane. I just automatically, he's just like, God, can't believe I did that to my boy. Probably shouldn't have chosen a name that's just 
like, it begins with an S. Be gone, Poison Man. Be gone. Of course you miss. If that poisoned me, I would have been very upset. Except they pick up a Reviver Seed themselves. But yeah, that's an auto... An auto use. Then you need to worry. But I could have sworn that some enemies... Like, could use... Items. And throw them at you. Ah, shit. Alright, Leer. Be amusing if our level ups made it so that we are less likely to just be annihilated by these guys. Give me that apple. I'm stepping on it. In that case, eat big apple. Yum. <laughs> but that's very luck based. Now I'm recalling my Pokemon uh, Mr. Dungeon save file. I was a darn <laughs> genocider, just a chimchar chasing everyone. Ain't that always it when you're going for grinding? Is that another Reviver Seat? It's an XI. Uh, I don't really care for another XI. I'm gonna try and use an XI against the criminal. Criminal scum! Darn it, I'm a fool. Damn it, I miss! How? It's a spider! I always disabled uh, that with a cheat code. One mechanic they just don't care about. <laughs> Fair enough. Ah, crap. I'm gonna throw rocks. Rock. <laughs> Why not eat it? Because it is... Like, uh, like I'm fairly certain the game said XI is... Ooh, you go wibbly-wobbly and don't eat it. You have cross-eyed status effect. It's confusion. Motherfucker. You triple motherfucker! Rock! And you run away? No. Rock. You are not getting away! How dare you flee with 10 health? Or like more health than that. Alright, something's getting crossed out. Let's see. I got two blowback orbs. Honestly, yeah. Swap. <laughs> it's fine. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! Nope, 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 I'm getting... You are not getting away. Oh, I'm out. Shit. Fuck. Luckily, it died. And I didn't bring any PowerPoint up, so the boss is gonna be a nightmare. Or as I just realized my thing's on 1%. <laughs> the battery power, it always creeps up on you. Well, on we go. I thought they said that it was on level 7. Hmm, Hurl Orb. What does Hurl Orb do? It makes you hurl. A weapon item that hurls the <laughs> towards another enemy Pokemon to inflict damage. I wonder if it inflicts it if it falls into a wall. It's only 100 HP, but still, I've been utterly annihilated by Starly and do duo in here. This is a nightmare world. Welcome to Edgy Grim Dark Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, where you have come to die. Alright, I might as well disable your quick attack, because we can't use that right now, and I don't want you to waste your moves. Well, let's talk. Hey, how you doing? So too much for me. Mood. We are dying in here. At least now we know why Drowsy came here. He knew that it would be a nightmare world. Yeah, passed over sticks, don't care about them. They're not the beloved rock. The rock is the best. Well, I guess we're going this way anyway. There should only be two floors left, specifically ninth. Ah, yeah, ninth is the one they said. 
<laughs> well, Zoras and Zorak are glass cannons. Maybe, but they annihilated my, my poor boy. Even my Silas. But what's a drop eye? A food item that gives the drop eye status, where the immediate surrounding area will be dark, even in rooms. It also somewhat fills the Pokemon belly. It is a look-like item to the eye drop seed. I found the, the look-alike before the actual one. Ah, oh, shit, we're being chased! <laughs> oh, pain and misery, pain and misery. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Her suit. <laughs> I'm gonna need eat another horn berry, oh no. In the old days, uh, rocks were used for weapons. All hail the mighty rock, indeed. I'm going to eat another orin berry so that this reviver seed can be our savior. <laughs> oh, that worked too. Use the orb. No. I don't do strategy, for I am a fool! Thank God for Pursuit taking some damage off. Well, yeah, like some of their life. It can't go any slower, my poor boy. Run away all you want, you coward. Die. Quit using Endure. And now we can pick up the sticks. We're gonna go on this side because it's closer to the stairs. Just a little bit of healing, and then we go in. Oh boy! <laughs> Use the falls. <laughs> You're not getting away that easy. No, we are not. Okay, good. Rocks and. Back. All right, we're gonna leer at you. Okay, you got annihilated. Good, good. Leave the boy alone. I want a Digimon Mystery Dungeon, but the only one that fits this is uh, World Two, and that game is Pearl Pure Hell. Never played any of the Pokemon, or Pokemon Digimon worlds. Maybe I should someday. Even if they are pure hell to some degree. Because <laughs> if you have rubbish in your life, grab it and toss it out. <laughs> God damn it. Leave the boy alone. As he noms you to death. Alright, we're gonna grab this orange berry. Let's see, what should we throw out? What should we. Oh! Oh, no, that's ground. I was like, oh, did we have extra room? What? Me lose mine? We do have a lot of orange berries. Hmm. I want to look at you. What's your diddly -dee? Uh, Just inflict damage. Hmm. I guess we'll leave the orange berries since we have a lot. Shit. All right, let's, we need a leak. If you want to play a world game, then start with world one, three, or next order. Last seeds don't increase your power. That's what I figured. I just figured like they do decent damage. Uh, can't you give it to Silas? Nope, because in this game, it seems, uh, the items that you carry stay in your bag somehow. Always 20 damage. That's still pretty good damage to me. Uh, blast seed, we're not carrying extra blast seeds. Oh, that's not good at all. All right, uh, pursuit. I think this dungeon has 11 floors. I believe they said that they went to the ninth floor. I believe, I believe. I am paranoid eating Orin Berry. You could have ate it from the ground, but then oh, I guess I could have. I didn't think because I didn't have that much damage on me. Level up. Oh, I, Lord knows I need it. <laughs> Lord knows! All 
right. Every time now, I still think that that enemy is going to come and blast me if that's seed, but that should be fine. So long as chat is correct. Believe in chat. They are pure intentions. Well, on we go. But Riel was on 17 HP at the time. I am but a fool. I apologize. <laughs> I tried to be strategic, and then I failed, for I am a fool. Oh, it's a dead end. Excuse me, Mr. Drowsy. Where's my lost item? Could you show me where the item is now? Sorry, kiddo. Your lost item? It's not here, that's for sure. Huh? But my big brother. My big brother's following us, right? He's coming soon? Nope. Your big brother's not coming. I'll let you in on a trick. Little secret. This was all a trick. <laughs> Strategy is out the window. Strategy's always out the window. I try to strategize, and then it, it flees from me. I deceived you. <laughs> I don't know where I saw it, but I remember seeing somebody using that, like, picture of Drowsy with that line of dialogue. This was all a trick. I deceived you as, like, a meme. <laughs> it's brilliant. Huh? But let's not dwell on that. There's a little favor I need to ask you. See that hole behind you? Well, there's a rumor that there's a trove of thief treasure inside there. But as you can see, I'm too big to squirm my way through that hole. And that's where you come in. Don't worry. Just do as I say. Do that and I'll help you get back out of there. But, but... Go on. Get going. Go into the hole and don't forget to bring out the treasure. I want my big brother! Hey, stop that! Sheesh, I said that I'll take you home when you're done. If you keep being difficult, it would mean big trouble for you. Help! Stop right there! We won't let you do that! Drowsy, you bully! How did you find this place? We're Team Lost Light, an exploration team! No criminal can escape us! An exploration team? You came to apprehend? Huh? Are you trembling? <laughs> Drowsy's eyes look like he needs glasses. Maybe. <laughs> ha! I figured it out. You say you're on an exploration team, but you're total rookies. <laughs> <sighs> That's right. I'm a wanted Pokemon with a bounty on my head. But can you two do the job? Can you confront this outlaw and bring him to justice? Uh, yes, we can! Yes, we can! We'd never lose to a bad guy like you! <laughs> I've been chased by all sorts of exploration teams in my day, but never a sorrier looking bunch than you two. Uh, this should be a laugh. Let's see if you can take me down. Show me what you've got! Alright. First things first. I'm going to... Oh, I got rid of my XI for some reason. Oh, nope, never mind. Take this! Now he really needs glasses. Guess I can... Dang it. Wait a minute. It gave me back my moves! Cool! Dang it. In that case, I need to come to team. Silas moves. Quick attack. Okay, that's cool. It gave me back my moves. Get rocked. Oh, dang it, I didn't realign. And I shall. Well, I should learn. Let's see. I believe it should be this. So if no matter who he attacks, never mind. <laughs> he almost knocked himself out. We came to rescue you. Are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? I'm okay. Great, what a relief. Your big brother is waiting. Let's go home. Okay.
And let's drag this criminal with us. I am Magnazone, the primary officer in this region. Thanks to you, we have been able to arrest a wanted outlaw. Zt, zt, we owe you great thanks for your cooperation. Zt. Adorable. Zt, we will send the reward to your guild. Thank you again. Zt, now come with us. Aww. Take that, drowsy, you freak. It's always the most embarrassing thing when the bad guy says they've outrun the most professional teams, and then they get caught by the youngsters. Ain't it always? Zuril! He was standing there the entire time. Meryl! <laughs> Meryl! He was so scary! You okay, Zuril? Are you hurt? He's fine. The little guy hasn't been harmed in any way. Except emotionally. And mentally, he was kidnapped. He was led through a terrifying dungeon by a criminal. Sometimes I want to just wake up as Zorak unconscious on the beach side and save the world from disaster for Rialu instead of my bed. Don't we all? To go on a magical adventure with a true friend to save the world? That'd be magical. Sadly, all we have is fan fiction. Or these games, both. Both are good. Really? That's a relief. Oh, Azuril. Azuril. I'm glad you kids are happy. How you did this all for us, Silas and Neon. We won't forget what you did for us. Thank you so much. Come on, Azuril. You too. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you for rescuing me. Really, really thank you. The Exploration Team Federation has sent a message. We are awarded with an enlarged treasure bag. <laughs> We can now carry more. We can carry more! Wait, there's one more message. The special episode, Bidoof's Wish, has been unlocked. You to play a special episode selected from the episode list on the top menu. It will. Uh, if you would like to play the special episode, save your adventure progress and return to the top menu. We might be... Hmm. I think we'll do, like, one more stream, normal, and then we might do that. Maybe. Or I'll look up when the best time to do... The special episodes are. Because I've never played those. I've never played those. That would be new experience. Oh boy. I've gotten the bounty from Officer Magnazone for the capture outlaw. Well done, you two. Here's your share for the job. It's yours to keep. That's ours to keep, my dude? Oh, however. The portion was withheld. We got 300. What? This is all we get? After all that hard work. But of course, it's all part of the training. And we expect just as much effort tomorrow. <laughs> I should have expected that. Uh, I'd be happy if our share of the reward was just a little bigger. Yeah, come on, 300 more. <laughs> Damn taxes. We should revolution. Uh, but that's all right. We managed to rescue Azuril. And it's all thanks to you, Neon. Because you had that dream, Neon. You learned about Azuril's trouble in advance. It's true. I can't explain it, but... The first shout I heard from Azuril... Help! And that dream I had... Which is the same thing. If you keep being difficult, it will mean big trouble for you. Help! Both of these events... They took place in the future! Why was I able to see something like that? What was that dream about? Oh, my stomach growled. <laughs> Your stomach growled too, Neon. You must have worked up a big appetite. We are so focused on rescuing Azuril that I didn't notice at all. And we ate apples along the way too. <laughs> but it, yet if it, that happened, I'd probably get upset when Shadow cuts 2,000 coin pay and would throw hands knowing me. <laughs> You would go and make Pokemon America. All property is theft. <laughs> that reminds me of... I've only seen it in shorts, but it was part of a bigger, like, YouTube video. It was like, Congratulations to Tusky. You have hit metal 17 times. You are awarded this picture of car. Oh, I am happy. Unfortunately for you, all property is theft, so you are now going to jail. Fair enough. <laughs> but now I'm even hungrier. Come on, let's go get dinner, Neon. 
time for munch food time. While our lord and master just dances with an apple on his head. I don't even think he needs food. He just exists. Dancing gives him life. Ooh, cutscene time. Lightning and thunder. Would be amusing if that was just it. Oh no, it's just from in here. It sets the mood. Wow, that lightning's intense. It looks like it's really stormy tonight. Hold on. You know that night before we met Neon? It was storming that night. I found you out cold on the beach the day after the stormy night, Neon. And I didn't die of hypothermia. I am God! Well, do you remember anything about being out cold on the beach? Can you remember anything at all? I wonder. Hmm. There was a storm, but how did I end up unconscious there? No, I can't remember a thing. I guess it won't be that easy. But that's all right. Just try remembering a little at a time. We have to get up early again tomorrow. Let's get some sleep. Thunder. Lightning. What will we see tonight? Listen, Neon. Are you still awake? I've been thinking it over since it happened. That strange dream you had, Neon. Maybe it has to do with you personally. Huh? That's just the feeling I get. I, I sure don't know any other Zoroa who dreams about the future. And I've never heard of a human suddenly turning into a Pokemon either. Well, you see, there was that legendary rescue team. I, I they, you Surely you've heard of them. Team Shining, they're badass. That's and also Gengar... The human that touched Ninetales tail, I'm still upset with how Ninetales is spelled. It is tails as in story instead of tails as in animal part. Hurts me. <laughs> if the dream if the damn taxes happen again, I'm gonna go and slap that bitch myself. He will st he'll start the Pokemon Revolution. <laughs> Taxation without representation. We can't even elect our own guildmaster. That's why I think those two events are, are connected. I can't help feeling that way. The key to unlocking my memory. Was it in that dream? But even if that were true, how does it relate to anything else? I have no way of knowing what you were like as a human, Neon. But I think you must have been a good person. After all, it was your dream that helped us catch that bad Pokemon. Bad Pokemon, huh? Oh, that reminds me of what Chadot said. That the growing number of bad Pokemon has been caused by time going out of whack. You know? Time is getting messed up bit by bit all over the world. No one seems to know why. But everyone believes that the time gears are somehow involved. Huh? Time gears? <laughs> I feel like Solid Snake at this point. Huh. Time gears. Does it have anything to do with Metal Gear? Huh. They say Time Gears are hidden in secret places around the world. Like in a forest? Or at a lake in an underground cavern? I've even heard that there's a hidden altar inside a volcano. That looks like a, bo a boss arena from Gauntlet Dark Legacy, I swear. At the center of such places is what's known as a Time Gear. Time gears serve a very important function. Each one protects time and keeps time flowing properly in its region. And they look badass. They look awesome. <laughs> More thunder and lightning. Very, very frightening. Oh, cutscene time. There's the boy. The boy's running through the storm. You know that bothers me? There's only one guild, and the taxes really tough as made is a monopoly. <laughs> that lava one is fake. Damn it. <laughs> ah, yes, the time MacGuffin. But, no, I don't think so. I think there are other guilds around the world. Because I think the like the worlds are connected through Super Mystery Dungeon, but I only heard that in passing, and I, I've only played a little bit of Super Mystery Dungeon, and I can't wait to get to it, because this is going to be a whole playthrough. I want to give Gates to Infinity a chance, and I want to give Super Mystery Dungeon a chance. I want to ex experience them. I want to have fun, but yeah, I feel like there are other like guilds and organizations. It's just that Wigglytuff's here is like the most major of this 
explicit area. I don't think the word I was looking for was explicit, but we'll keep it. But what happens if a region loses its time gear? I don't really know the answer to that question. Well, apparently we're going to find out. My guess is that if a time gear is removed from a reason... A reason? Region. The flow of time in that region will probably stop, too. That's why everyone makes sure to never disturb the time gears. Everyone has long been certain that some kind of disaster would strike. So everyone stays away from the time gears and doesn't tamper with them. Even the most hardened criminal Pokémon know to avoid messing with the time gears. Do my eyes deceive me? Could it be? Yes, it is. I finally found it. A time gear. But this is only the first of many. I like that it's flashing as if we don't know what Pokémon it is. Honestly, I like Get to Infinity Plus. It includes the first allu allusion to romance in it. Ooh! I know that it has a few things, like, there's the kind of superfluous thing of it removing the, uh, b -b -b of removing the personality quiz, which, yeah, it's kind of sad, but I cheese it all the time anyway, and it's mostly like, I like the personality quiz, but them removing it isn't the worst thing in the world. But at least they compromised it, or, like, made a compromise with it for Super Mystery Dungeon and made it so that you could either choose or go through the thing as, uh, diddly D, the personality quiz. And, uh, but the one thing, the, the one thing that does kind of annoy me, because I think I played the Gates to Infinity demo, is I think they got rid of the normal attack. As in, the normal attack only does five damage. Hurts my soul. Hurts it badly. <laughs> uh, there is the official guild's headquarters, which is located. I actually don't know, but you are correct. Ha ha! I am good at hypothesization. I got bravery on mine. Neat. Also, Gate to Infinity removes guilds. If I remember correctly from what I've heard, isn't Gate to Infinity just like you and your partner trying to make like a community and so you're going out to help people? And just, like, on your own volition. That's kind of cool as well. But I don't know. I, I, I don't know the specific. It's been a long time, and I can't wait to get to it. Wait, seriously? It has romance? I don't remember the Gates to Infinity. It could be very, very small subtext. Like, things that could be interpreted as romance or as platonic. Then again, I shipped the hero and partner of uh, the Rescue Team games. So, uh, I'm a basic bitch. I, I, I adore these characters. <laughs> that is also correct. Ha <laughs> ha! The next morning. Let's get... Up and at him! It's morning! Uh, good morning, Neon. Who wakes up loud, Red? Hmm. But I think that... We might stop there. We've been going for almost three hours, and we went through quite a few story chapters. But yeah, aside from that rocky start of constantly running into trios of birds to murder me, uh, I love this game. A little bit of a difficulty spike, I just need to get good. But the music, the writing, the story, the characters, the, the art, I love it. I love it, and the fact that I get to play as Zorua and mix things up thanks to the expanded Sky mod, is also lots of fun. Let's see. Uh, referring to a short interaction at the end of the game. <laughs> Better question, does Loudred sleep? Who knows? No one ever sees him sleep. <laughs> Literally a murder. We have to make it live at the last time because of work. Ah, it's fine. Uh, just, if you want... All of these will eventually be uploaded to the YouTube channel for your perusal at your own leisure. So hope you can hope you enjoy like uh, watching the vods if you do to keep up with our journey. But for people who want to watch next time, the next stream should be Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. If I keep to my schedule, I'm trying to stream Monday, Wednesday, and Saturdays from now on, and trying to keep to that. So, diddly dee. 
Next time should be returning to the world of Ace Attorney Trilogy with, I presume to be, the final episode. And we will see as we finally get back to playing as Phoenix. And uh, it might take a few streams to finish the episode, but we will see. Huh. Uh, may I take when the next one's roughly, like I said, Saturday at 5 p.m.? Uh, as for uh, the videos, they get uploaded about every other day at 10.30 p.m. Uh, not p.m., 10.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. <laughs> but let's see. Uh, other things. If uh, anybody here wants to see other things that I do, I have an edited content YouTube channel. I am currently working on a script for a video. I hope to... Uh, at least finish it by the end of the month. Don't know about editing. Editing is my evil. Meh. But yes, Neon Icy Wings, the YouTube channel for edited content. And if you want to catch up on streams, people watching these VODs or whatever else, you can catch me on Twitch or the YouTube channel Neon Icy Games. Also, like I said, Neon Icy Games is the channel where all these streams get uploaded to in full eventually if I have a backlog. And if you want art from me, in my link tree, linktr.ee slash Neon Icy Wings, has various sites that I post things to, like art similar to my little character in the corner. So if you want to see me post to Twitter, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, the various other places like Pillowfort, Inkblot, I post a lot of art a lot of places. Even if, even, even if Brain is very mean about my art to me, it is very negative, I still try to power through. <laughs> but I also do writing, and links to my writing resources can be found in my link tree as well. And if you're feeling especially, especially kind, you can think of me as Chatot and give me some stream tax through my Patreon, also found through my link tree. It's basically just a, hey, here, have money to help survive the evils of the world bin. It's, a, it's just a donation jar to me. It helps me survive a little bit. But, yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have a good night, morning, evening, or wherever you're watching. And I hope to see you dudes next time. Stay good, stay safe, stay yourself, and goodbye. Oh, one thing before the stream goes. Are we naming the team members as viewers when it comes? Probably not. I usually go just by vibes. Just by vibes of the names. I've never really named Pokemon after people. Maybe in, maybe as the stream goes along. Who knows? If I get vibes from, like, a Pokemon, maybe I'll name it after a viewer, but I don't know. Uh, I, I'm still getting used to having viewers that are actively active in chat. No harm to lurkers. Lurkers, you are valid, too. Everyone's valid in this stream, except jerks. But, yes. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Stay true, stay safe, and stay yourself. And I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>